As I'm getting older, I really realize that like I have to find out who I am. I'm not just like sent to the next school grade like I have my whole life. I found that people are like so interested in who am I? What's your passion? Where do you want to live? What are you going to do for the rest of your freaking life? And honestly, I'm kind of sick of it at this point. I'm just doing stuff I think is fun, so I think it's really weird just who I am. I'm like, let's just freaking find out who I am. It can't be that hard. Right? And to answer this question, we obviously have to like know what a person is because that is also like, I don't really know. But I just read this article from Psychology Today and they have many definitions. But they say that personality can be defined as a person's pattern of thinking, feeling, and behaving. So I was thinking, let's ask the people that know me the best who I am. And then I was thinking I could include you guys in this video to tell me who I am because I went through my comments and saw what you guys thought of me. And I just gotta say, like, I'm so flattered. I don't have any haters. And you are so nice. Like, I love when you guys comment. So let's see. I have a good future in YouTube. Wow, I'm so underrated. Naturally funny. This is not what I am, but I need more subscribers, apparently. You thought I was funny? Oh, funny. Oh my gosh. I am lucky. Actually, that is pretty true. I win a lot of like competitions and contests and stuff. Lottery even. I always win that when you like scrape. Is that what it's called? I must be from Canada. I'm talking too much. I'm very beautiful and talented. This is starting to feel kind of wrong. <laughs> oh, I have a down-to-earth style. I'm a young and obviously intelligent and beautiful girl. Who's in region real ever. More than Eva Sundum herself. Who is Eva Sonnum? That's Eva Sonnum. I'm a person who has dance skills. Oh my god, thank you. I'm so funny. Thank you, Ida. I'm so cute. Thank you, Ida. And Jesus loves me. That was some of the comments. So I guess that's how you guys interpret me. Thank you. I'm so like flattered and warm in my heart. But it makes sense that you don't like comment on random videos. You are this and this type of person. You're just commenting nice things, which I so much appreciate. Thank you. And then I thought it would be a little bit fun to have like an objective part to tell me who I am. So now I'm gonna take a personality test called 16 personalities. So maybe both you and I can learn something about myself today. Oh my god, this is such a narcissistic video. Well, only takes 10 minutes, but I'm going to think out loud, so it's probably gonna take a little bit more. But you regularly make new friends? I'd say yes. Definitely. Not the majority of the time. So I'm like, do I take this then or like here no yeah like this i prefer but i don't have to no is it bad that i'm not like full on one side i don't know <laughs> no someone you find interesting that's yes yeah not really i don't think so follow your heart that's like my life saying i want to make a good impression is okay yeah activities you like books and movies no i hate open endings i'd rather succeed myself if that's what they mean does that make me a douche oh yeah that's very true. You are prone. I have to look that up. You suck. Can't they just ask if I'm an optimist? Because I am. I wouldn't say I avoid it like I could, but it's not. I don't take it, so I'll just do this. Definitely not. They are using like kind of weird words. And I'd say I'm kind of artistic. Oh my gosh, imagine if my friends are watching me and they are like, oh my gosh, you have no self reflection. That would be kind of embarrassing. And sorry, the light is like constantly changing. Rationalitet? I don't know what that is. Oh, let me think. I don't know. Like, are we really following our feelings? Today, like climate change, do we have a feeling it's going to be okay? Because I feel like most people have a feeling it's not going to be okay. But like irrationality is like not being used then. I don't really understand. I prefer, but I don't really do it. I relax a lot. Enjoy watching people argue? No, you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself while well, I'm making a video all about myself But I feel like in normal I don't draw attention to myself, but I don't need to avoid it either You know, it also really depends like I'm a really messed up person. So I'm just gonna do this. No. Yeah Well, no. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is hard because I love Hanging out with myself, but it's also fun to be with other people. So I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna do this. Oh Yeah, I think so. No, if I made them yes, if I'm still making them no. Yeah, I don't think so. You like to have a to-do list for each day? Yes. Yeah. You avoid making phone calls? 
yeah i don't spend a lot of time trying to understand but like discussions are really fun i think i feel like yes your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible i don't know what that means why are these questions so weird back on track like with my life or plans that are oh i understand okay well that really depends but not yeah no i mean a long time ago no but sometimes i think about them and i cringe you rarely contemplate oh my gosh Trakte? i don't know what that means either <laughs> well i think about the meaning of life all the time no i would say yes when someone thinks high of you you wonder how long it will take them to feel disappointed in you <laughs> no is that normal i'm kind of scared now to share this okay i would rather work with the people but I wouldn't mind working alone. I feel like I got the context, but I'm still gonna look that word up. It is not a waste of time. It's so fun. Please like comment something philosophical in the comments so we can discuss. Intimate places. Yes. City girl. If that's what they mean, that's the first thing that came to mind. Well, no. Does anyone, if they don't know them? No. Methodist. Oh my gosh. That's not super important to me. No. Well, that completely depends though. Like if I had a job opportunity, but then I thought my friend would need it more you can't just pass over a job opportunity to someone else a good opportunity what could that be i really don't know what they mean informal deadlines yes but not like at school and stuff you feel confident that things will work out for you yes manifesting queen right here oh i get the results now protagonist okay oh with passion main character okay okay so i'm more extroverted than introverted that's nice to know about who i am right judging that doesn't sound really nice but what is prospecting i met prospecting okay <laughs> i don't know that word either i don't know that word either okay read my profile oh my gosh this is a lot oh strengths and weaknesses that's fun i don't know any of these words okay i feel like that's pretty accurate okay that was weird let me just hear that word protagonist protagonist oh my gosh okay this was kind of like nice I often find their way into leadership roles that i feel like is not super true weaknesses unrealistic <sighs> condescending i don't know what that means sorry i was alone in the house but i'm not anymore and we have like these huge gaps under the door so now my mom and sister can hear me which is i think it's kind of awkward even though it's not now i'm probably gonna talk a little bit louder no quieter oh my gosh i'm only on number three i have to do this kind of quick rarely settle for anything that falls short of their ideals and their romantic relationships are no exceptions my standards are really high so i feel like that's pretty accurate oh my gosh i just said that and they know it oh yeah this whole thing is really true i feel like this is freaking crazy to read because it's really accurate and i'm like i don't know if i'm flattered like it's kind of it, it kind of like makes me appreciate it more from like reading from like someone else telling me who i am but at this point i'm like is this almost like well i believe in astrology but i know other people say like all those descriptions are just written like they could have been for anyone i can link this test down below and if you take it please comment what you got it would be so funny that is just scary okay i'm not gonna buy that though but that was definitely really fun i can definitely recommend to take this test if you're bored okay so now a few other sources have told me who i am but in the end i am myself so i probably know myself the best so who do i think i am honestly like i really don't know i was thinking to have like a clear answer in the end of this video and have like a get to know me tag or something but like the more i think about like who a person is the more like confused like it like we are physical people but like a person is just so abstract that like my mind can't process it so then i was thinking i could talk a little bit about that but then i'm like there's no way i'm able to express these really complex thoughts in english but i'm just gonna try to ramble a little bit for the next few minutes if you want to <laughs> hang around to listen to that about who a person really is but to keep us on track let's repeat the definition again so a personality can be defined as a person's pattern of thinking feeling and behaving and i think the idea of a person or personality is so funny because like to me i'm just me like in one way i feel like i was just like born into this mind with its own pattern of thinking like i'm not trying to think in a specific way i just do but then like i'm not really controlling who i am in that sense but i also definitely think we are incomplete 
big control of like changing habits and pattern of thinking and behaving I guess because we can literally be whoever we want like a dream person that could be us you know we can change change ourselves to that if that is who we want to be but then again like if we have this dream person we don't know why we think that is a dream person that is just like our mind thinking that is a dream person so in that way again dream personality is an objective because that's different from everyone so again then like that is not really who we are just like what our brain that we was blessed with you know like our brain that is a part of who we are have its own preferences that we just kind of like agree to like i'm like do you understand what i'm trying to say because i'm like personally having kind of a hard time right now but still like we change and evolve as people like our whole lives every single day so like how my friends describe me today would definitely be different from like what my middle school friends would have described me at that point and probably my friends in 10 years you know that is also weird because obviously we have like experiences that kind of like transform us and our choices but still like i am just me but still it is like two different people you know it's just so weird to think about but as i said in the very beginning of this video when people are like asking about who you are or like go find yourself i'm like what the frick does that mean like okay i took the personality test i'm a protagonist okay like is that it like i don't know what people want to get out of that answer like who are you oh my gosh my mind is running on full capacity right now philosophical questions are fun but i probably should have just done that get to know me tag because this is kind of like really weird to me right now another thing i just talked about like sometimes when i kind of feel like i have figured out who i am or like doing stuff that i feel like kind of define me as who I am. This year I went to this like gap year school doing action and aid work kind of and other stuff like that and people literally then oh my gosh why do that yeah but like they start questioning it like I didn't know you were into action stuff and I'm like well then you don't know me but then I'm like wait is that who I am like I don't know and especially no I can't start that conversation but okay I just wanted I really wanted to mention this which is really fun which is like a huge part of my life like relating to who you are and that is from like please law of attraction if you don't really know what that is there are definitely videos that can describe it because I'm not gonna get into that right now but it's a lot about your ability to like create your dream life and like manifest your higher self like your dream self and this has got me to think a lot about like life and who we are and who we want to be and I'm asking myself like why doesn't everyone just live their dream life then again i'm like well in one way everyone lives their dream life because we can do literally whatever we want to as i said we can be whoever we want so what people are doing right now is probably how they want to live because they can't choose to live another way if they wanted to but that is not what they're doing probably because first of all they probably don't really know who they are as we talked about which is completely understandable but like your dream job exists tons of opportunities exist tools for hobbies exist a happy and healthy mindset exists Exists. you just like have to take it and if you do not i don't think it's really what you want to do because you have to enjoy the process obviously like if you want a really healthy and long life you probably would exercise and eat nutritious food you know but like if you don't enjoy doing that it's probably really not your dream you know like what you're doing instead probably means more than a healthy life which is like completely fine that was just an example so in that way i think everyone is living their dream life right now because you can choose every day to do different things to do other things that makes you happy and i know this is also way more complex than i can explain like with money and different situation you could make a stopper i know like i'm not gonna get into that right now but many of us probably don't feel like we are living our dream life and i think that probably kind of like goes back to that we don't really reflect a lot about and like know who we are which Again, we talked about it's fine, but I feel like this is a good time for me to tell you that you have freaking endless potential and please like don't be afraid of it this is turning into speech now but you can truly do whatever you want what your heart desires what you think is fun like you're never guaranteed tomorrow like just think about that for a second someone didn't wake up today but you did so just like be grateful for today in this awesome freaking world with like endless opportunities like i get goosebumps talking about this like oh my gosh i'm so passionate about life and like the world just like sit there with me right now and be grateful for today and like all opportunities we have right in front of our nose we can just like pick and choose 
it's completely fine to not know who you are and what you really want like i do not at all either and it is a lifelong process like what i wanted two years ago is not what i want right now and it probably will change before i reach what i wanted you know but in my opinion follow your intuition and listen to your heart do what makes you happy follow the laws though and do not get in others way and i think never settle for something less than what you desire because you deserve to be happy affirmation of today i deserve to be happy repeat that after me i deserve to be happy okay yeah, so that was quite the speech but like i'm serious to the few people who are still watching i i hope so much you like realize how amazing you are how blessed you are to have this life and if you're still watching like i've been filming and editing this video for a while and i think it's a fun video but i'm like this is all about my freaking self so i've been asking myself like who will watch this video like, are you obsessed with me? I wouldn't mind. I'm obsessed with a lot of people. <laughs> if you're still watching, anyways, let's comment this emoji so I can know. But I think it started to go over to the summary. I've been talking for 30 minutes and this video is already kind of long. But I've been talking about weird and abstract stuff for a while. So what have we found out about who is Christina? Like, we have found out some of my qualities, I guess. And like, I can definitely recommend to ask your friends. That was really nice. I appreciate you. And to take the test to just like kind of be aware and embrace those parts about yourself but in the end who i am and who you are is just like so complex and literally a lifetime studying project i think i pretty much said everything i wanted to say in this video so i'm gonna watch some reality shows to cool my brain off for a little bit thank you guys so much for watching if you like to give it a big thumbs up if you take the test comment what you got and if you're still watching comment the star emoji and i will see you guys in my next video bye